Hello friends, hello family, hello faith walkers. Welcome to another moment with Michi, a time with Christianity with me where we talk about the word of God and we are trying to be healthy in our whole man, body, mind, soul, and soul and spirit. So I am out walking again. It is a beautiful day. Happy Friday to you all. And I pray that your Friday and your day is going well. Many blessings to you all. And I I um, want to just quickly discuss with you something that came up. I was introduced to this video the other day where I saw this group of individuals where what they are doing is they draw out their own blood. They stick a needle into their arm and they draw out their own blood. Then they put their blood inside a skin like a sausage, like you would creating a sausage. So they would put the blood inside of that. They would boil the blood and then they would cut it and eat it like it was a sausage. And I, that really disturbed me because it's in direct contrast to what God's word says. And I know that a lot of people, we don't always know the Old Testament and we don't always know the laws that God had in place to keep us healthy, to keep us safe, knowing that he is the true and the living God, that God understands everything because he made man, he created us, he created the animals. And so he has given specific instructions to his people on what to do concerning blood, what not to consume. And so we are not supposed to consume blood. And so I want to read that to you from Leviticus chapter 17. I'm going to be reading from the English Standard Version for you today. And it's going to be Leviticus chapter 17 verses 10 through 12. And this is the law against eating blood. And it reads, if any one of the house of Israel or of the strangers who sojourn among them eats any blood, I will set my face against that person who eats blood and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. Let me say that again. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I have given it for you on the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement by the life. Therefore, I have said to the people of Israel, No person among you shall eat blood. Neither shall any stranger who sojourns among you eat blood. Amen. This is this is what God is saying, saints and friends. Let us not be beguiled. Let us not be fooled. Let us not be tricked into doing things that are contrary to God's word. The only blood that we as the saints of God, the people of God, that we are to be consuming or allowed to enter into our bodies is the blood of Jesus. And that is done symbolically through communion. That is the only thing that we're supposed to be consuming when we're talking about blood. We're not supposed to be eating bloody meat. We're not supposed to be consuming blood. We're not supposed to be drinking blood. That is contrary to God's word. And when I say um, the only way that we're supposed to take blood is through communion, I'm going to read just a, two more scriptures for us to set that straight so that we understand that. And that's found in John chapter 6, verse 53 through 56. This is John 6, 53 through 56, where Jesus says that we're supposed to eat his flesh and drink his blood. And then we're going to go to Matthew 26, 26 through 29, where he explains it in detail. That is actually symbolic that is actually the blood of Jesus that is actually the 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 wafer the bread and the fruit of the vine that's what that represents his body his flesh and the fruit of the vine represents his blood and so we're going to see this in St. John 6:53 and 56 
and Matthew 26, 26 through 29. John, St. John says, So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. And Matthew 26, 26 through 29 says the institution of the Lord's Supper. And it says, now as they were eating, Jesus took bread and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. And he took a cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant. So it says in 27, and he took a cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. It's symbolic. I tell you, I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Saints and friends and faith walkers, let us remain sober. Let us remain vigilant in this season. Let us not be carried away by every wind of doctrine, things that we see people doing and we question it and we say, ah, you know, so sometimes we just got to go back to the word. We got to absorb this word. We got to know this word. If we don't already know it, we got to search it out in the scriptures. And, and if we can't plainly find it in scriptures, then we need to just seek God through prayers and fastings. Amen. So we want to do what God tells us to do. According to scripture, we can no longer just blindly follow up the men and doctrines of men or what other men are doing. We have to seek God for our own salvation. We have to seek him with fear and trembling. And we have to know what thus saith the Lord. Saints, friends, faith walkers, enjoy your Friday. <laughs> Enjoy your time off. Enjoy your Saturday, your Sunday. Whatever it is the Lord leads you to do, you enjoy it and give God praise. God bless you all and be with you. It's my continued prayer. Bye-bye.